In tonight's Project Safe Schools, the Oklahoma State Department of Education is discussing last year's standardized test scores. They were the first state test that students took during the pandemic. 2 News Oklahoma's Katie Kelleher shares how the pandemic affected student learning and why State Superintendent Joy Hoffmeister is asking districts to take a closer look at the data. Katie. Students have now had two school years interrupted by the pandemic. These scores come from tests taken this past spring. Now the state did not test students in the spring of 2020. So all of these scores are being compared to spring 2019. And the State Department of Education says there's more to the numbers than meets the eye. Data from the Oklahoma State Department of Education shows an overall drop in performance on tests from 2019 to 2021, a 4.8% drop in science, an 8.6% drop in English language arts, and a 9.8% drop in math. We know that math has been an area of certain grades, middle school particularly, where we've seen um, those learning loss and loss of momentum for some of our students. But what factors go into a student's test score performance? Enrollment and participation are big ones. And for the past year and a half, the impact from the pandemic. Oklahoma's typical participation rate for statewide testing is about 98 to 99 percent. This year, it was about 91 to 92 percent. With that drop in the numbers, the State Department of Education is asking districts to look deeper at the data, find those missing students who didn't test, and why. When we think about students that didn't have the opportunity to test, we need to consider the demographic makeup of those students, where those students are now, um, and you know, the local information that would have contextualized why that student didn't have an opportunity to test. Like the statewide scores, Bixby Public Schools test scores were lower than usual. Bixby Superintendent Rob Miller was vocal last spring about not wanting to test students. It was not appropriate to test our kids after the year that they'd gone by, a year plus of disrupted learning. He says test participation was low due to some students in virtual learning or parents opting their child out of the tests. He says they won't be focusing on their test scores, but are looking ahead at how to help students catch up. For us to try and drill down anymore and make sense of test results based on a year like we had last year really takes our focus on off of where it needs to be, which is serving the kids that are in our classrooms today. Hoffmeister is also looking to the future. She's asking districts to focus on increasing tutoring and accelerated learning programs and get students back on track. Education is a marathon, not a sprint. But at the same time, I remain impatient for our kids to have the progress, the opportunity to learn um, and look at the, meeting the needs of the whole child. Hoffmeister also wants school districts to look at the data before making big decisions about where they will spend their COVID relief dollars. Katie Kelleher, 2 News, Oklahoma.